What are you even doing wearing that in weather like this? It's gotta be 100 degrees out here. Let me help you out. Don't you think it's funny that the professor has never been to Israel or anywhere in the Middle East? And he talks as if he knows what life is like over there. Yeah, welcome to America. Are you almost done with your report? No. I haven't even started mine. I've just been so busy with work and school. But I plan on finishing up this weekend. That's good. Oh my gosh. I am not looking forward to Ramadan. I know, the fasting, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great way to lose weight. So. True. Hey, go. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> Can we help you with something? I think you two girls need to leave. Why, is there a problem? Not yet, there ain't. <laughs> God, Jesus, what is this problem? God, he's a creep. I hate guys like that. He was staring at us like we're a couple of terrorists or something. I hope he doesn't come back. It's guys like him that make me scared to wear my hijab in public. I agree. Ugh, they freak me out. Like, how ignorant can a person be? Damn. Did you always wear your hijab growing up? Mm, not really. Not until I got into middle school. My mom used to make us wear it to school and I'd take it off when she'd drop us off. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> me too. Kids would make fun of me and I just didn't want to deal with it so I would hide it. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't mean to interrupt, but I saw you guys from across the way. Listen, whatever remark you want to say, just save it, okay? Go be ignorant somewhere else. I'm not sure what you mean. I was just gonna say I think we're in the same cultural studies class together. Professor Gladwell, right? You're Najin. I remember you because you got into that argument with the professor in class yesterday. Oh my goodness, yes, that would definitely be me. <laughs> and you were... I don't think I know you yet. I'm Matthew. Oh, Jasmine, nice to meet you. Wow, you're really beautiful, you know that? Thank you. Anyways, I don't mean to interrupt uh, your guys' study session or anything, but uh, I thought you were really gorgeous, and I was wondering if you want to grab a coffee sometime. Uh, no, I don't think that would really work out. Ouch, am I that ugly? <laughs> no, I just don't date anyone outside my religion. Dating? Who said anything about dating? I was just thinking about getting coffee. But now I know where your head is at. Hmm. Clever. So you're saying you wouldn't date me? I mean, if you're being persistent, I guess I'll say yes. When are you free? What? <laughs> no, I mean, you're being confusing on purpose. Well, if by confusing you mean handsome, then yes, I'm very confusing. Well, look, we don't have to move so fast. Maybe we can get together sometime, and you can teach me about your religion. Hmm. Do you actually want to learn about my religion, or is this a Mia Khalifa type fantasy? Mia who? I don't think he knows what you're talking about. Who you're talking about. Hey, Matthew, I think you're really sweet and all. I, I'm just not interested. All right. Well, sorry to bother you guys. Have a good evening. Oh, you just told him to get lost. I'm shocked. Why? Because he's white? We're just supposed to be all over him? No, because he's actually good looking. And I remember who he is now. He's captain of the football team. He's a really smart guy. And I think you guys will look cute together. I don't like dating Americans. They're all jerks. Oh, and we're all terrorists. Oh, come on. You can't throw a blanket statement like that out there. I thought I told you girls to get lost. Hey, what's your problem? The two of you are my problem. What are you doing wearing that in public? 9-11 was over a decade ago. Take those things off. <sighs> Sir, I don't think you have any concept of what this is. Shut up. My brother was killed in those Twin Towers by people like you. Dude, we're from Boston. I don't know what you think we are, but I can assure you that we're not that, okay? No, that's not okay. And those towels wrapped around your head say everything I need to know about you. We don't have to deal with you. Take your hatred somewhere else. <laughs> what are you even doing wearing that in weather like this? It's gotta be 100 degrees out here. Let me help you out. <gasps> <laughs> That's what you get for being a Muslim terrorist. <laughs> How's it feel, huh? How does it feel? Ah, that's called freedom right there. 
Crack a smile for the camera, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, how's it feel, you Muslim terrorist? Now to down. Hey, are you guys okay? That guy's a real jerk. I hope you know he doesn't represent the rest of America. Hey, Najin, do you have your phone? Yeah. Call the cops. Let's report the guy for a hate crime. With my testimony, he should get at least a two-year minimum. Okay. What? You thought I'm all looks, no brain? Uh, I just didn't think you knew the law so well. Well, I am taking the bar exam next week to become a lawyer, so I should. So, uh, what do these mean anyway? It's a representation of my faith. Kind of like the cross people wear around their necks. So does that mean you're really religious? <laughs> it can. Does wearing a cross around one's neck mean they go to church every Sunday? Fair enough. I think you're starting to understand. Well, I had a good instructor. Islam's core teachings are love and peace for all human beings. Well, I appreciate the free lesson. Free? No, no, no. You owe me a coffee. This story is based off something I witnessed when I was younger. I didn't know a lot about other cultures when I was growing up in the US. As a matter of fact, I didn't even speak English. But I remember a lot of girls were making fun of this one specific girl for wearing a hijab. And there was even one day where they ripped it off of her and she started crying. So darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. You may not fully understand other people's religions and beliefs, but it's important that we learn to treat each other with love and respect regardless. All right, guys, last but not least, I just want to say a big thank you to all the fans. We actually started off this month of May with 156,000 subscribers, and right now we're at 345,000 subscribers as we're shooting this. We just want to say a huge thank you to you guys because we literally would not exist without you. So we're super appreciative. And what, Dylan, we're going straight to a million subscribers this year. So we love and appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> practice right now? Yeah, that is so good. Yeah, so you gotta do that. And just leave it at that. Okay. okay.